you of old. I had been in this program <laughs> for five years, and the moment I saw, because I only attended one meeting this year, <laughs> the moment I saw the room in where there was everybody getting ready to know what time we had to get to the buses on Thursday, um, I was like, oh my god, that's way more people than I expected, which was wild. Um, I've been in this program for five years, and I'm pretty sure we started off as a pretty small group, us freshmen, and then we got smaller, and then we got a little bit bigger. Um, so that's wild. <laughs> I've also, I've spent, I wrote this speech while I was in Senate, not Senate, House of Representatives, because um, I never get called on anymore, and I'm getting really tired of that being a fact. Um, I think it started with my sophomore year, and I would not like to talk further on that issue. <laughs> So, I have had a problem wondering, how the heck does anyone think the way they think? Because I have a chronic problem with thinking I'm always correct, which I think that comes when you're in politics. So, Daniel has to all those who wrote bills that I totally disagree with, I'm sorry that sometimes I'm mean. Um, I can also think you're completely incorrect and might question your sanity, just as I have questioned the sanity of nearly everyone I've talked to while I was here, including my roommates this year. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> All of them are youngsters. Um, most of them are sophomores. So I haven't. What about me? Wait, hang on. Are you freshmen? <laughs> yeah. Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with names either, but I did learn their names this year. <laughs> I, Katya, and Catherine. Yep, thank you. I did it. Um, you knew I did before. So, that is a thing. But to target my speech towards those freshmen in the crowd this year, and or 8th graders really, um, also known as whippersnappers, <laughs> I, I, with much dismay, have to inform you that you will never ever see the sign that did say no grinding when referencing to the fact that there should be no grinding at the yin dance, which also no longer exists. No. <laughs> Bring me back! Bring it back! approximately three times within around an hour, so I would unload, unpack my luggage, get, come back down, Kay would talk to me, and then I would have to go back up, pack my luggage, and then go to another room, and then I would unpack my luggage again, and then I came back down, and Kit told me I needed to switch my room once more. Um, so thanks for that. I never agreed to that. It was a dreadful time.
My last one is my favorite one, and that I totally agree with, but will never get past, and that is napping during school hours. I love that bill, and every year it comes up. I want to pass it, but it's not passable, because no school, high school, will enact a 30-minute napping hour. So that's, yeah, that is what's my time is for. Um, but in closing the speech, I would like to say something else. I love youth and government, but it has also made me a wild communist. I, <laughs> I, I have seen the most wild political opinions, and I have decided to swear off all centrism and all right-wingness. I am now a communist, a full-blown radical communist.